With the new Agilent InfiniVision 4000 X-Series oscilloscope, Agilent has integrated real demo signals inside of the scope through two front panel probe connections. No external demo board required. Simply connect channel 1 and channel 2 probes to these probe points and press a 1 of 6 auto demos or 1 of 6 app demos and the scope has you showing the compelling value of this 4000 X-Series oscilloscope to your customer with ease. 80% of customers considering the purchase of an Agilent InfiniVision 4000 X-Series oscilloscope or other vendor scope in this class are research and design engineers crossing all electronics related industries. They are designing an electronic circuit, often an embedded design, and have gotten their first or subsequent prototype boards back from being fabricated. They are turning on these boards and need to understand what is working and what is not. The oscilloscope is an R&D engineer's eyes into electronic signals in their design. In effect, an oscilloscope is first and foremost a signal visualization debug tool for these research and design engineers. So what is the most important characteristic of an oscilloscope to a design engineer? To give them the confidence in their ability to troubleshoot their device under test, to readily see everything that is occurring in their design, to know if it's functioning correctly, and if not, why not? The answer is waveform update rate. Agilent's 4000 X series provides the world's fastest waveform update rate at 1 million waveforms per second, giving customers the highest probability of success to see intermittent troublesome anomalies that are causing their devices to fail. You can see in this real signal example, a once in 1 million glitch is readily being captured and shown on the display given this scope's 1 million waveform per second update rate. We can detune the 4000 X series scope update rate and simulate the update rate of another vendor's 55,000 waveforms per second update rate. If you wait long enough, the scope may catch it. But given an engineer's likely debug behavior, they could have easily moved on to the next test point in their device before the glitch was ever captured and displayed. Now detuning the scope's update rate further and simulating 3,000 waveforms per second update rate, which no other scopes in the market provide, you can see that this glitch has essentially no chance of being captured and displayed and therefore hidden from the customer. A single shot capture then search type of debug method to find this same glitch would have first required one gigabyte of memory to ensure at least one glitch was captured into memory. This amount of memory is not available in this class of scope from any vendor and other classes of scopes which do make available one gigapoint have it being very expensive. After capturing with one gigabyte of memory, the customer would have to know what type of anomaly they were searching for in order to set the right search parameters. If the customer had never seen the anomaly, there's no chance of this working. Again, seeing the glitch with fast waveform update rate is the most powerful way for design engineers to uncover problems of all types in their design so they have the confidence in what they ultimately deem is their final design. Once an R&D engineer has seen something of interest or a problem in their design, what better way to isolate that event or anomaly than to simply touch the screen to trigger on it? We call this revolutionary new hardware-based triggering and Finiscan zone touch triggering. Here is an example of a digital signal that has a non-monotonic edge that occurs very infrequently. It appears to be happening often, but that is because of the 4000X series 1 million waveforms per second update rate. Once a customer has seen this anomaly, they simply touch the screen to draw a box this anomalous signal must pass through. This self-demo illustration shows the process of how the box is drawn and selection for must intersect is made. The 4000X is able to easily isolate this anomalous event with a very simple trigger, which by the way, is nearly impossible to do with any oscilloscope's advanced trigger modes available from any vendor in the market. Most customers never even bother with advanced triggers since they're relatively complex to set up and therefore intimidating. With InfiniScan Zone touch triggering, a huge variety of advanced triggers can be accomplished by simply drawing a box. 
I can now drag this box to other portions of the display in case I didn't get it in quite the right place. Or, if now I only want to trigger on the good signals, I can drag this box up so that only the normal waveforms are passing through the must intersect box while not triggering on the non-monotonic edge signals. I also have the ability to draw a second box with either must intersect or must not intersect criteria. As shown in this real signal example, design engineers will get their job done faster during the debug process with faster waveform update rate and now coupling it with InfiniScan Zone touch triggering. If a design engineer can see it, they can trigger on it. But what about bursting or packetized signals that occur over relatively long periods of time? Doesn't an oscilloscope need ultra deep memory to capture everything of interest? Actually, Agile has something better for customers needing such insight called segmented memory. Here we see short packets of RF bursting signals with very long periods of inactivity that a customer doesn't care about. We can use segmented memory to capture only the signal of interest and ignore the periods of inactivity. The scope is now acquiring 1000 RF bursts with segmented memory. With the acquisition complete, I'm going to navigate to the 1000th segment. You can see that the graphical user interface has been designed for touch so that making selections or entering settings is extremely easy. We can see the timestamp on this 1000th segment is about four seconds after the first segment. This is an eternity in digital signal world. If a scope without segment of memory was to acquire this same signal continuously for four seconds, it would require five gigabytes of memory, which no scope in the world has. Segment of memory is a standard capability of the 4000X series, providing customers an effective ultra deep memory scope capture tool. The auto demo capability of the 4000X series easily demonstrates MSO, which Agile invented and continues to lead the industry with by providing the capability integrated inside the scope, but also making it upgradable. Also available is serial analysis demo, which illustrates the hardware-based, uncompromised nature of serial decode to maintain the scope's fast waveform update rate, which we now know is very important. Finally available is a WaveGen demo, which illustrates the variety of waveform functions and now dual channel function and arbitrary waveform generation capability of the 4000X series, which is unique to the industry to Agilent. Let's go back to this RF signal. As a customer, I may want to further characterize this RF burst signal with cursors. To illustrate the design for touch interface, Touch the blue page box in the sidebar area, select cursors from the list, and now I can simply move X1 to the left side of the burst, X2 to the right side of the burst, Y1 to the top of the burst, and Y2 to the bottom of the burst. Notice that the cursor targets are easily touchable with the capacitive touchscreen display technology they are very easy to move and get on the exact point on the waveform desired. As a customer, maybe I want to characterize this RF burst signal with automatic measurements. Again, I can touch the blue page box in the sidebar area and select measurements from the list. See how I can undock this measurement box, or any box from the sidebar area for that matter, and drag it to anywhere on the display. To quickly add a different measurement to the measurement list, I simply need to press the plus button and navigate the list of nicely large illustrated measurements and find the one that I'm wanting. If I don't want an existing measurement in the list, simply touch it and select clear measurement to remove it from the list. From a documentation standpoint, as a customer, I can easily add on-screen annotations. I'll simply press the Label Front Panel button, then Annotation Soft Key, and select Edit Annotation. A nice Design for Touch keyboard pops up. I'll type in a brief message to remind me of what the signal was. And I can now move this annotation box around screen. 
change its color and change its background color. Agilent's new InfiniVision 4000X series provides the industry's leading scope acquisition and signal visualization tool for the design engineer doing debug. But we didn't stop there. Agilent set out to redefine the oscilloscope experience with the latest capacitive touchscreen technology, revolutionary new InfiniScan zone touch triggering, and a graphical user interface that was designed to be touched to create a tool that will get design engineers to answers faster.